Glenn, the defense came out swinging while making its closing arguments. Defendant Kyle Rittenhouse's attorney, Mark Richards, he slammed the prosecution's assertions that Rittenhouse was a, quote, active shooter who provoked the attacks that led to the fatal shootings of Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber. There was nothing reckless about my client's conduct that day in regards to Mr. Rosenbaum. Mr. Rosenbaum was coming at him. My client ran from him, retreated, which is not needed, continues to run. The plastic bag is thrown, the metallic plastic bag. Kyle doesn't know what it is at that time. It causes him to turn and look over his shoulder, pointing the gun in that direction. This case is not a game. It is my client's life. We don't play fast and loose with the facts, pretending that Mr. Rosenbaum was citizen A number one guy. He was a bad man. He was there. He was causing trouble. He was a rioter. And my client had to deal with him that night alone. Now, Richard said the then 17-year-old fired those fatal shots because he feared for his life. Earlier today, the judge dismissed a misdemeanor charge against the teen for possession of a dangerous weapon by someone under 18. Rittenhouse brought an AR-style rifle to street demonstrations last August following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. He still faces five felony charges. He's pleaded not guilty to all charges, including first-degree reckless homicide, use of a dangerous weapon. The prosecution told jurors that this was not a justified shooting and that there is no valid self-defense claim here as the defense contends. This is someone who has no remorse, no regard for life, only cares about himself. And these folks that are coming at him, the jump kick man, Anthony Huber, aren't armed. They're not a credible, imminent threat to his life. They are trying to stop an active shooter. If convicted of the most serious charge against him, Rittenhouse could face a mandatory sentence of life in prison. We'll send it back to you in the studio.